Hi friends, good morning, buenos dias, my love king from the Maya land again. Well, in this time, we are going to share with you the message from the Maya updates from the 22 to the 28th of January this year, 2018. In this time, uh, there is a special message which is connected with uh, the symbol of the mom, who is Yash. In Yash, in Maya language, is tra translated means uh, green, the color of the jade, but could be too the first. So I was meditating uh, last night about the meaning of these dates. And through the meditation, what I got is that first uh, is a symbol or a representation of the most important duty, the spiritual duty we have, our responsibility in these dates. So what is that responsibility we need to assume? Our responsibility in this time, according with the message of these dates, is that we need to become, in again, in priests and priestesses. Priests and priestesses who decided to take the side of the light, to take the side of the, side of the responsibility in service to humankind. This is the time when we are calling by the Mother we are calling by God, Father, to do our best in the service. And of course, as see, uh, coming from that side, still we are not perfect. But the point is not that. The point is, how can you do in your everyday life every action? What is the, the love, the dedication, you know, the, the responsibility you take in each one of your actions? So this is why it makes you a priest or priestesses when you really converge in your own energy within you through your mind and heart and put that energy in service to the others. Mother Earth is, is calling us. Mother Earth is suffering for all the abuse. So for now, one of the most important responsibilities is to heal ourselves, but at the same time to extend our hand to offer to the others opportunities to grow spiritually and material. So this is the time when we all are called by the Creator to assume our responsibility. So the first, the first, uh, in first service to humanity, the first thing, the first place is to serve the Creator, is to serve the Mother, is to serve our planet, is to serve the children, the elders, the Maya, the women and all the people who is involved in this understand that this is the great moment we are living as a humanity. So in these dates, you know, the symbol of Ishmael, who is the priestesses and Amen is coming to tell us that we are still on time to recover our dignity as a human beings, to recover our main responsibility, not by not to do by force. Do because you have love within your heart and in every action, in every experience you have in your life, you are going to experience the love for the others. You are loving to teach them, you are loving to support them, you are loving to help them in the way you can. Nobody is demanding you to do in a perfect way, but with all your love. What is better to eat something who is cold, who has not essence? from a supermarket sometimes, or to eat a great, great tortilla, hot tortilla, maybe with some beans, with some frijoles, just because someone is giving to you from the heart. And this is what we need to think. We need, again, to warm our hearts, to come again with that idea that the ancient ones had as priests and priestesses in service to the Creator, to father and mother, uh, there, is a, there is a lack of, of, of love, there is a lack of uh, service for the others because sometimes we become selfish. So when you do now your, your prayers, you do your yoga training, you do your, your exercises in the morning, whatever you do, you know, when you burn a candle, remember that you are in service here. For a time that God uh, wanted you to be incarnated, we are in service and the service is to give to the others in the best way we can all our skills, all our love, our kindness, our peace, our harmony. 
just transmitted to one, one shake of the hands, hug, or even to a side scene. So this is the time to recover your dignity as a human being. The past is past. We need to heal. We need to forgive ourselves, forgive the others. But now the craft, this moment, you know, the gift is today. Recover your dignity if you come again from the most deepest part of yourself, the love to humankind, the love to the planet, the love to all living beings. These uh, days, you know, are very important and crucial for the destiny, for the future of this humankind. So the Mayans uh, invite us to take that responsibility, to take that uh, in service with dignity, but with joy. No, nobody force and nobody force you or push you in that way. It's because you need to meditate and to say, yes, I want to serve, I want to be in service for the others, and I want to assume now my dignity as a priest in my home, as a priestess in my home. I want to do everything with love. If I am going to eat, put a beautiful table with flowers, with nice mantles, you know, that you feel that food is good for you with essence, with, with love, you know, with that, with that, that is now lack and lack every day when we go just go to buy things in the supermarket or in a restaurant. So every day is very important now to assume our new responsibility. We are here to protect the planet. We are here to save ourselves from this uh, chaos. But it's very important to assume, again, your service, your dignity as a Maya priest or priestesses. Wherever you are, Maya represents a consciousness statement. Maya is the one who is restoring, you know, his, her relation with God. And this is the moment when, in this time, the Mayan dates are giving us the opportunity to understand and comprehend this. So this is a beautiful uh, message for the beginning of, the, of this year. So meditate, think about it, and begin to do in your everyday actions with all your love and profound, profound service for all the living beings, for all humanity. And our planet will be grateful with us because the mother feels what we do. The mother is feeling all uh, his children, her children, doing what is needed to do now with deeply understanding of the situations that now we are living on. So we are going to do now a connection with that part of ourselves, who is our inner priests and priestesses, and we are going to do a connection with some mantras, the mantras of the heart. So I invite you to, to close your eyes and to relax, breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Father, Mother, heart of the sky, heart of the earth, Christ energies, Christ within me, in my heart. Please guide me in these meditations to recover my dignity, to recover my worth as a person, that every action, every act, every experience in my life comes now with a great worth for me and for the humankind. And every experience in my life could be in service for the others, helping them in a different factors with different opportunities to extend my hand, to extend my heart to all of them. The Holy Spirit of God send, 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 send over us and guide us in this moment to that great possibility to connect again with the Spirit of God, bringing us to our sacred dignity to be priests and priestess, to heal within us what is needed to be healed, 
and to open our gifts and skills to the planet and to the humankind. We are going to do a mantra to connect with our heart is the mantra OM HUM, connection with our hearts. there is a beautiful throne and in that throne is seated in this moment the father the mother and the son there are three chairs and there is a throne you are there in front of that throne and you are kneeling in front of the three forces of the creation. They now stand in their hands in front of you. And when they extend in their hands in front of you, you see like lightnings coming down from the heaven, activating your seven chakras, thunders and lightning with a big electromagnetism surrounded you. And you feel the father, mother, and the son wanted you to activate your heart, wanted you to activate your service as a priest or priestess. And you are there receiving these amazing electromagnetic energies to activate your heart, to activate your connection with the planet, to activate the connection with your high self, to activate your connection with your priests and priestesses, and to activate the connection with all living beings, with all the spirits elementals, with the rocks, with the trees, with the animals and human beings. You are there receiving all these gifts inside of your heart in front of the holy presence of the Father, Mother and the Son. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, guide me, guide me, guide me, guide me. Open my mind to see, open my heart to feel.
You feel completely connected with this moment, this experience inside of your heart. Heal your heart. Heal your mind. Accept the gift to be in service for yourself, holding God's hand, holding Mother's hand, and holding the Son's God. Hand. You are so happy. You are be healed, receiving the healing in your seven levels of energy your seven chakras, but the joy, the abundance, the kindness, the light, the sacred wisdom, through the Holy Spirit guiding to you now in this new moment in your life. You say thank you kneeling in front of your heart to your father, mother, and son. And you're returning your consciousness to this moment where you are going to decide as you take the responsibility with joy, with love and enthusiasm to be in service every day of your life with more and more consciousness and in every action the key is every action do with love and even you do something incorrect or wrong even that you can say God, Father, Mother still this that is not correct, still this, I offer you with love, that is the key. So now you're ready to take a decision that in these moments of extreme urgency to be in service, we can't fulfill that commandment of all the great teachers that they have been here in the humanity. One planet, one humankind, one creation. We send love and light, abundant peace, kindness to our planet and to all living beings. So we eat, so it is, it is done. So we eat, so it is, it is done. So we eat, so it is, it is done. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, inner Christ, Christ consciousness in me. Thank you to my spiritual teachers for the guidance, sacred knowledge in this time. In la cage, a la ken. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. Breath in and breath out. It was a pleasure to talk to you. I hope to see you soon. My greetings in La Cage.